Amy Enzel became the sixth contestant to be fired by Lord Alan Sugar from BBC's The Apprentice. After thinking she was safe for another week and taking the challenges in her stride, Amy was fired after Lord Sugar felt she wasn't pulling her weight and was shying away from the spotlight. Speaking about her time on the show, Amy revealed she often felt overwhelmed and intimidated when sitting in the boardroom and admitted that the firings were a bit surprising. Speaking exclusively to Express, UK and other press, Amy revealed, it is very overwhelming and intimidating. And I remembered speaking to our pre core in the beginning, and we were both so nervous waiting to go in, and we both said to each other, you think this ever gets any easier? And it never did, you were always so nervous because the truth is, you never know what direction it's going to go in, you don't know who's won, it's very unclear. And ultimately, you know, the firings have been a bit surprising, it'd say, so you never know, are you going to be fired? You know, you never know how has going to see your contributions and I used to think the person that's fired is the person that's responsible for the failure of the task. And then I discovered as we went along, it was not that black and white, not that straightforward, so you never know if it's going to be you. And that's why it is intimidating and scary, but, you know, you signed up to do it, so you have to be brave," she said. When asked whether she expected to be fired and how she felt when she heard Lord Sugar reveal it would be her that was leaving the competition, she said it didn't hit her until after everything happened. Not at all. I really thought him a calm and collected person, you do have some time to go away and gather your thoughts before you go into that boardroom to kind of fight your corner. I really thought to myself, I have a really good case here, I've contributed so much to every task, been sub-team leader. I just kept going through the reasons why I was waiting really until week 7 to be PM, project manager, because also there had been the toothbrush task in week 2. That, was totally up my street, and I didn't put myself up, but I thought there had to be another product or innovation test coming up next week. The apprentice candidate hits back at Lord Sugar, watch, 1,572,057 so I do have probably another week, and I'll just wait it out because it felt like I was hiding in the background for the past six weeks, you know, I was always there on the front line. So yeah, it was a really big shock to me too. And you know, it is what it is? What can I do?" she concluded. Speaking of her firing, which Lord Sugar said was down to her not taking a leadership role, she said, I just felt that it was a very unfair, unjustified firing. I haven't seen anyone been fired for that reason before. She then added that she is low-key glad to see the back of the show, saying the prize fund of £250,000 investment to split your business with Lord Sugar isn't an amazing deal. Amy is the founder of Hollywood Browser Beauty, a US-based cosmetics brand that she wanted help from Lord Sugar to expand her business. Taking to her Twitter account after her exit from the show, Amy tweeted to Lord Sugar, I think if you'd given me the same chance you afforded Nick in week 3, I would have proven myself too. How is being sub-team leader 4 out of 6 tasks dodging? Being vice president isn't dodging being president. Ageism and anti-Americanism are a fine thing at Lord underscore Sugar hashtag The Apprentice. Sick, The Apprentice airs Thursday at 9pm on BBC One.